hey guys welcome i uh, welcome back to etl qa labs uh, so today we will uh, look at uh, tcl tcl commands in sql so tcl stands for transaction control language all right so before this we have looked at uh, ddl dml uh, and dcl and this is the fourth uh, uh, set of command right that is called tcl transaction control system right so please go and watch my previous videos if you are you have not watched them and this is uh, you know the last set of command uh, before we uh, go with you know um, uh, dql or or i would say the select statement all right so let's uh, go and try to understand right so what is the transaction control language right so uh, as name suggests right it basically controls the transactions right so set of uh, you know uh, sql commands the dml commands and then to control that you know so in terms of uh, committing rollback or you know saving save point right so there are three different kind of commands within tcl one is the commit a commit basically save the changes permanently in the database so any dml statement right uh, so dml statements insert update or uh, delete right this three dml statements if we are performing those three statements it will not immediately do the uh, you know uh, save the data in the database so what will happen it will save the data in the temporary table and uh, you can always go back and you know roll back that the changes to the previous state right so then you can use the rollback command i have shown you in my previous dml uh, you know uh, in, in the previous video that is related to dml and i have tried to show you how do how we can roll back the changes if we have already deleted something uh, right so so what you have to do is if you are running any dml command and then you necessarily need to run the commit command so that it will change the data changes it will save the uh, changes in the database permanently right and if you do not want to save the changes permanently if you have done something mistake and then you want to you know go roll back that changes then you can uh, run the rollback command and the third one is a save point so save point basically uh, it's again uh, you know um, kind of it will uh, keep uh, certain reference point and uh, you know up to that certain uh, reference point the data can be rolled back so it is basically used in conjunction with the rollback command right so that we will see it so one by one and then it will be more clear when we will see the example right so let's go back to the database right so let me so i already have uh, uh, already have a table let me show you so we have this table right now let's say um, guys if i just want to um, okay i need to open one more you know so i will show you there right so let me open one more more sql window that's where we will see right so i will say connect system and then admin all right it's connected now so this is the second uh, you know terminal that i have opened so i will just show you right so let's say if i want to delete yeah so any dml statement when you perform you have to necessarily perform the commit right to save the changes you know? so we will see the commit how the commit works right so let's try to insert one uh, one row right so insert into emp we'll put values and then the employee id 4 and name is rohan okay and then 4000 maybe and uh, 20 and this will be the date of joining right so date of joining we will put like uh, 01 01 2020 all right this is the one date of joining and then i will say dd mm why 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 all right now this committed i think something is missing here second guys so okay here we have got 
two quoted quotes, right? All right. Now let's see what has happened. So in the table, I think we should have got one more. The this one, Rohan, last one, right? So in this case. Now these changes are not permanent in the database, right? So if I want to go back and you know uh, uh, roll back means I want to go to the previous state, which means the record number four should not be existing. So what I can do is I can just run a command called roll back. Roll back means it will go to the previous permanent position, permanent status of the table, right? So just say roll back completed. Now if I want to check it, you see that. Okay, guys. I think. All right. So what has happened? I think uh, previously also we have not done it. All right, all right. So let me commit it first once. Okay. I'll commit it. Now what I will do is I will just insert it again. Okay. Now let's see what we got. We got uh, Rohan now. Okay. Now I want to say roll back. When I say roll back and then I check it, see the four is gone because we rolled back. To the previous state, right? Similarly, what we can do is, if uh, I have let's say deleted something, all right? I want to just let's say I want to delete it. Rollback is done now. Okay, I will show you commit also here only. Okay. So let's say I have done it now. If I see the table, four is coming, right? Now I will run the commit statement, so it will save the changes in permanently in the database. Now if I roll back again, then what should happen is because we have committed it, so four should not disappear. All right, even if after rolling back, so roll back should not work here. See, four is still there because we have committed, and then after that we are trying to roll back. So after performing any kind of DML statement, if you are not committing explicitly, then you can actually go back to the previous permanent status of the table right but if you commit you have performed the commit statement then it is not possible to roll back all right so roll back is basically to going to the previous permanent status of the table all right and when you commit it it will save the changes and it will be making a permanent entry in the table right so this is what uh, i wanted to talk about Okay, the the third point that I want to talk about is the save, right? So save point. So save point, as I said, that uh, it's similar to uh, it's uh, similar to save. Uh, what you say, commit, but it will not make the changes in permanent. Uh, but uh, it will uh, give you a reference point from where you can roll back. So I'll show you what does it mean. Uh, the the save point, right? Let's say I want to insert. Okay, I can very well use the same one. Right? So I can use let's say employee ID five. I just want to say Mohan. All right. Don't want to change all the data. I just want to use it for showing you. Right. Inserted. Now I will say save point. Save point. Mm, INS insert one. All right. Give some name. It is save. Save point created. Okay. Now I will do one more thing. I will create one more record. I will say here Suresh. Okay, and then number six. Employee ID six. Okay, it should be Suresh, right? Now one more record. Save and save point INS two. So two insertion I have made. Now let's see what is the table. So I should get two additional record now. Five and six. All right, guys. Now if I would like to. Uh, I just uh, don't want to, you know, roll back the entire table. Which means, if I roll back the table, then what will happen? Five and six both will go because we have not performed any commit statement. We are only just uh, performing the, you know, uh, two DML statement here, right? So let I will show you that also. But for now, let's say now I want to just go to. The save point number one. So here, right? So everything before this is, uh, you know, uh, will not be reverted back, right? Which means if I say, I will say roll back to ins two. Okay, ins two means uh, sorry, ins one, right? Roll back to ins one means up to here, right? Which means six will be rolled back. So in the next query when i say select statement select statement then uh, the six should be 
disappeared because we are rolling back up to this point right but 5 will still be there so let's try okay roll back complete now let's say if I run it you see guys 6 is removed and 5 is still there now let's try to uh, see if roll back is now okay uh, I will try to insert one more let's say 6 and then I will also insert 7 yeah 7 no guys okay sorry I think 6 I created right okay so what I will do is I will just uh, put one more save point here right so I will say save point INS 2 okay put it save point INS 2 now what I will do is so I can see how many data here let's say I can see 5 and 6 both so in previously what I did I, I said roll back to INS 1 which means 5 was still there because it only rolled back up to 6 uh, I mean uh, the, uh, the this record right now if I s do not say um, roll back to this I will just simply say roll back alright let's see what happens now let's try to see so guys you see 5 and 6 both are gone why because we have inserted it and this is the permanent status of the table this was the permanent table right and these two report records we have created later and when we say roll back it has actually went to the original permanent status but when I say the save point I created save point and I said roll back to a particular save point which means it has actually create uh, went and uh, rolled back uh, up to that particular save point right so 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 that's the reason the 5 was not removed okay I hope you are clear with that right so guys you have to make little practice around it then uh, the concept will be very clear right so this is what I wanted to cover about uh, you know um, TCL transaction control uh, language and with this I think we are able to conclude uh, DDL DML DCL and TCL all the four different kind of commands and the next session we will talk about uh, so everywhere we are always using the select statement to see the records and all so select statement some people are considering as a part of DML but I will say it is part of DQL yeah so data query language because it is not doing any changes in the database nothing is happening not the schema not the database right so uh, this is uh, only to query the data right so it is uh, not uh, changing anything in the database that's why I'm calling as a DQL and uh, anyways we are using this DQL now what we will learn from the next uh, uh, you know session is uh, we will try to learn about the constraints right so we will learn about uh, the keys various keys and then different kind of constraints and then uh, we will stick to our agenda what we wanted to cover as part of our initial planning right and uh, we will see uh, you know um, um, we'll see you in the next video uh, next session right guys so I think I have tried to cover everything what I wanted and guys if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and uh, you know um, make sure that uh, you are hitting the bell button so you all get the notification on real time as soon as I upload the videos and uh, this is all for this session guys and thank you thank you for watching and uh, until then, happy learning. Bye.